<laughs> hey, let's take a look at radar this morning. No Santa snow out there, so you can't put a sled out. Uh, but we do have rain and drizzle in some of our northern counties. This is something that we thought would happen yesterday, thinking perhaps this is going to, you know, move to the north, and certainly it has. So good morning, Lafayette, Battleground, Delphi, at the home of the Berries in Logansport. We've had some light rain and drizzle this morning, spreading over towards Manchester. Between Rochester and Logansport, there's a really heavy cell uh, breaking out now, but it, it's not going to affect the metro. These temperatures are cool. 38 in Noblesville and 36 in Marion. At Crawfordsville and Nippy, 33 at Wabash College. While at DePauw, it's 38. Newcastle, 38. Shelbyville, 42 degrees. And in our southern counties, not much warmer. Uh, Nashville, you're at 42 at the IU campus, uh, 42. And Versailles is at 37 degrees this morning. Hey, it's going to be kind of a typical late almost Thanksgiving like forecast today because it will be breezy. It will be sunny. We're going to hang in the 40s most of the day, eventually topping out at about 50 degrees. Now, here's our setup for today. The jet stream is allowing this cool pool of air to stick with us, and you know it will tomorrow too, but the difference tomorrow right here, we're going to have rain, and I do think this will affect the Purdue Northwestern game at Ross Aid Stadium tomorrow. So that's going to be very interesting at that 5 p.m. kickoff, and then by Sunday, this starts to all move off to the east. Now, let me show you the exact timing on this. So here we are at noon today. I think we'll see a good deal of sunshine. I'm going to break down Operation Football weather for you coming up in a little bit. But this ridge of high pressure is going to keep us clear and cool tonight and cool tomorrow. Unfortunately, here we are at 8 a.m. Lindsay will be with you with a nice start on 13 sunrise tomorrow morning. This rain's going to move in for the afternoon. It is a potential here. You see at 3:30 of one cell moving through, but this whole line's just going to fill in. That's why I think, especially in the second half of tomorrow's Purdue game, which is so important for the Boilermakers, they're going to get wet. Now, watch this. Here comes another cold front. So Sunday morning at midnight, another line of rain moves through. At this point, fingers crossed, this is out of here uh, by the time many of you are, are headed out to church on Sunday morning. Let's break it down. 50 today, a wet afternoon tomorrow at only 49 degrees, but I like this jump at 60. What goes up must go down, and down we go to 48 by Tuesday. We've got a lot to talk about, including more Chuck's Big Adventure and more on the timing of this weekend rain, Julia. We'll get to that in a bit. Okay.